uh, you're absolutely right about that. And, you know, I have some time when I'm traveling and doing rallies, uh, I'm answering questions. And uh, the question is, uh, do you think Maxime uh, will have a, a world government with the UN? And I say, maybe not right now, but that's the goal of the UN and these international organizations. And I told them, look in Europe. They started that in 1951 with a free trade agreement. And they did more treaties, more treaties, more treaties until the one in 1993, the Mash Place Treaties, and they created a supranational organization. So you have that in Europe right now. So it took them 50 years to have a supranational government in Europe. And that may be the same uh, on the planet, but that's the goal of these global globalists. And that's why we must fight globalism and fight for the sovereignty exactly. of our state. Uh, that's exactly. uh, that's what you're doing, and I believe that you're doing that also with the, a group in the uh, European uh, uh, Parliament. If I can use that word, <laughs> uh, uh, you have a group, a freedom group of uh, other political parties that are together to to fight to keep uh, to preserve their sovereignty as a state. Also, is that uh, right? Yes, that that's correct. Um, so we basically, uh, I mean, you know, if, as you can imagine, my party or, you know, the, the, the MEPs from my party in this house, uh, we're a minority here. We are in a group together. We are 73 out of 705 MEPs. So, um, of course, we are being called, you know, just, just about every name in the book, you know, as you can imagine, uh, extremists, you know, populists would be actually a kind name they would call us. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, they, they stigmatize us, you know, and, and try to, to make us out to, to be, you know, these, these really bad people who want to inflict the entire world with, you know, all kinds of calamities, which is not the case. What we're doing or, you know, we try to preserve democracy, fight for democracy, uh, restore freedom, and, and I say restore because we are at a point where it needs restoring. Um, so that's what we're trying to do. But that goes against, you know, the, 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 the globalist agenda because that's not what they want. And, you know, once they pull in these, these uh, uh, supranational uh, uh, bodies, you know, in, in any shape, form, or fashion, is what they're actually doing is they're removing democratic processes further and further away from the people. So the people will no longer be able to, to have an influence. And what they're trying to, or they will do, not trying to do, they, they are going to do this, is they will have now in, in for the next EU parliament, it's not for the entire house, but for part of it, they will have these transnational lists. So that means that, uh, you know, the parties will come up with, with a list that goes through all of the member states. But in essence, what that means is that people will vote or will have to elect representatives who they don't understand because they don't speak the language. So if a Greek has to vote for a Spanish representative, what good is it gonna do him? How is he gonna tell this person what he thinks should happen. But that's not what they want anymore. It's not about people telling uh, the representatives what they want. They want to turn the other way around. So, yeah. uh, you know, th this, is, this is the real danger we're looking at right now. Uh, the democratic process gets removed further and further away from the decision maker, which should be the citizen. And uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna basically not a bottom up, but a top down. That's that's what they're aiming for.